Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, we're going to be doing a speed comparison when we try to remove files from SD cards. So we're going to do this with two different cards. We're going to do this with the Parrot Memory 32 gigabyte um, card, and then we're also going to do this with the Lexar 600 times uh, Extreme UR something um, high speed card. So that's one. They're both class 10 cards. One of them, however, has um, incredibly high read speeds. It's advertising up to 60 megabytes per second reads. So what does this mean in a real world? Well, we're going to try and copy um, one GoPro video file off of each of the cards. I put the same video file onto both the cards. We'll try to copy it off and see what happens. So we'll start with the Parrot Memory card. We'll plug that into the reader. Now, this is a USB 3 high speed reader, so that shouldn't bottleneck us too much. So then we'll come on to our computer. We'll open up the, where the files are stored. And then we'll just take our GoPro 0006 file. You can see it's 332 megabytes. And we'll drag that onto our desktop. We'll get our little window here. And we can see that it is reading from the card at about 35 to 36 megabytes per second. And it really doesn't take very long at all to transfer. So uh, that was our slow card. And now we'll pull this card out. We'll plug in our Lexar 300, uh, 600 times um, U1 um, and then we'll come back onto our computer again we'll open up to view that file and you can see here again we have this same file saved on this card so we'll take that one again exactly the same modification date as well as size and we will drag that file onto our desktop. Now we're going to get a Little thing you're asking if you want to save it, but we'll say we will um, well, just replace the destination file. And then we can see that this one reads at a constant speed of 80 megabytes per second. So that was a 300 megabyte file that took less than about two seconds to copy. You want to do it one more time here so you guys can see. Um, replace the destination file, and there it goes at 80 megabytes per second copy speeds. While the numbers I got may not seem that shocking, if we extrapolate the data we collected to, say, doing the entire 32 gigabyte card, the difference becomes quite a bit bigger. So if we say that we have a 32,000 megabyte card, so a three, 32 gigabyte card, and we can move 37 megabytes per second, that was on our slow card, it'll take 842 seconds, and now we convert this into minutes, and we can see that it will take about 14 minutes to um, 14 or 15 minutes to con to move that entire 32 gigabyte card onto the computer. Now, if we did the same calculation using our high speed card, we have a 32,000 megabyte file, our 32 gigabyte card. We divide that by the 80 megabytes per second we were doing, and then we divide this by 60 minutes. It'll take only six minutes to or six and a half minutes to do that card. So basically, well, both seem quick. It's gonna almost, it's gonna over half your um, your transfer speed. Now, f maybe six to fourteen minutes doesn't mean that much to you if you're converting, um, if you're only copying one GoPro. But if you guys are running two or three different cameras, that fourteen versus six minutes is really gonna start to add up. Um, if you want the fastest possible transfer speeds to your computer, get a ca get a card with a fast read speed. Maybe the writes aren't that important to you. Maybe you're not using burst mode and waiting for that buffer to clear. But if you're trying to transfer stuff onto your computer and you're getting frustrated with how long it takes, definitely look into um, a higher speed card. Now on the flip side of this, guys, if you're using a USB 2 card reader or maybe your computer's built-in card reader or perhaps your um, you're, maybe you're still writing, you're reading your card through your camera, stop doing that. Most computers nowadays have a USB 3 buy a good high quality USB 3 card reader and your transfer speeds will go up. If you're not getting at least like a 30 megabyte per second read, um, look up the, the data file for your card and find out what read speeds you're supposed to be getting. You should get those pretty consistently um, when you look at that copy window. So if you're not getting those, try to find out what, where the ball net's coming from because at that point it's not the card. It's either the reader or yeah, it's probably the reader. So like I said, if you're not using a USB 3 card reader, you're gonna get a lot lower speeds than anything I saw today. So if you're using a, if you're using a USB Tarku card reader um, or reading through the camera, change that first and your transfer speeds will go way, way up. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. It's another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe. Check out my channel for lots more videos. And if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. I do read every single one of those um, comments that's down there. However, lately with how GoPro or how YouTube's changed their comment system, um, I'm having trouble replying to them. So just bear with me, guys. And if you've got some really important questions, I will get back to you on them. Another great place to contact me if you really want a response would be on our Facebook page. So check out the link in the description of the video. And there's a link to the GoPro Tips uh, Facebook page. Thanks for watching.